Welcome to Crimson Guitars, I'm Ben Crow, and we are at my home workshop at the moment because, because I like it here. Uh, I am going to show you quickly one of my favorite ever possessions. Burn it. Ah, <laughs> yay! I found this at a charity shop. I paid five pounds for it about a decade ago now. And I love it. And it inspires me. And I thought that you would like to, you'd like to see. Here we go. What we have is the box. A rather interesting box. It's pinned together. Nice little dovetails, little bamboo skewers holding it together. What is inside, I hear you say. This is a little toolbox. It is sublime. I'm not entirely sure what the wood is, what it's made out of, but inside here, we have everything necessary to make your own miniature desk mounted Japanese meditation garden. And I've never made the garden. Frankly, opening this up and just touching and handing and looking at the things in here is my meditation. Inside the drawers, we have a myriad of gorgeous things. Various pebbles and sands. We'll get some close ups in a second. Look at these gorgeous little pebbles. And it goes on. even finer sand and a different color. I just, every time I do this, it just makes me happy. Look at the back of the drawers. I haven't got a clue what any of these say. But but there's a point where where language doesn't matter. What the, the, just what's in front of you is what's in front of you. You don't need to know. Although, if anybody can tell me what these are, I would be most grateful. Now the bottom two drawers are where, for me, it is at. We have all of the tools that you would need to rake and pick up and sand and plant. There's tweezers, there's all sorts, and then finally, this is to tidy up after yourself. Little sieves and shovels and just various grade meshes. And it's all put together impeccably with just love and care. I, I just, I can't get over the, the person that made this. All too often in this day and age, it is about instant gratification. It is about um, how many virtual thumbs up we can get. And I am, I am, you know, largely driven by how many people like my videos and enjoy what I do and, and learn from what I do. But to spend countless hours putting together a toolbox that is there to hold something that is just to just. It's all about relaxation and meditation and being in the moment. And it 
just makes me very, very happy. If I can build my guitars with this same sort of um, ethos and energy, then it makes me very happy. I think these are my favorite. Just tiny, tiny, tiny little river pebbles. White, various sands. Medium river pebbles. So that's more sand. Different color. And then finally, some tools. There was one point about eight years ago, my daughter was three or four and uh, I caught her, uh, I caught her eating some of the sand <laughs> from one of these drawers. Um, I, I didn't think that that was something that I would need to say, hey, don't eat the sand, but she did. We, we, moved, we moved a little bit higher after that. Again, made with total intent. Two feathers wrapped in a leaf with some twine. That in its own is a beautiful item. Just a standard feather. Another feather, again, wrapped in maybe paper. That's a planting, planting tool, I assume. Ooh, don't break it on the video, Ben. Crikey. Now, same thing, look at how this was made. We have a fairly chunky, thick piece of metal that was flat, that they then curved around itself in order to make a spoon. That's the nicest spoon I have ever owned. I, I see that mark in there, it looks like it was beaten. I can't see any brazing marks where the, the spoony bit and the handy bit were glued together with fire and metal. Unlike this one. That looks like the, the head. What is that bit of a spoon called? It was made separately and then brazed onto a handle. But it matches down there. We'll get close-ups of all of this soon. Some brushes. A triple feather. Quite windy in here. And there's a bunch of gorgeous little stones. Uh, some of these are in use up at the house. Fairly modern tweezers. Oh, another spoon. And this one in brass, I would say. Again, I don't see any brazing. So I made it of a single piece, and that was that's just beaten. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I think it might be brazed. These sections here, at the very least, are brazed. Over. Anyway, okay. Let us uh, let us move on. There's a couple of these gorgeous things. Look like it's shusugi band, actually, but very flexible. Just a little tweezer. Copper tool. Maybe that is copper. And then finally, finally we have various different little sieves, different meshes, different sizes. These are some more modern uh, inserts or something to put over. So you can work it out, kind of like a Lego sorter. But, uh, but look, look at how this one in particular, or these ones in particular, were made. Just Intensely gorgeous. Just amazing. Okay, so we want some close-ups. Um, 
these little shovels. That one's got a, uh, a touch mark of some sort on there. And then some muslin. And a wedge. Feels like pear wood or something. This is something that any of us can go and make. Simple, elegant, beautiful, expertly done. And again, very simple construction. The handle can also be used to plant things or place things. The spoons are amazing. I want to make a spoon like that. I need to learn how to braise first. So let's see if we can have a look at that touch mark. I'm not sure if that means anything. And then uh, some tweezers and on to the sieves that appear to be made at the same time as the box. With purpose and integrity. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this little collection. I, I've been thinking about this a lot over the last few weeks. In between, well, in between moments of insanity while uh, well, putting together that crazy thing, which doesn't look <laughs> of the same, of the same level as uh, even the most basic drawer in this toolbox. But my next project is entirely inspired by this toolbox and what it represents. And uh, it's not going to look the same. It's not going to have well, it's not going to be a toolbox full of tools, that's for damn sure. But I'm looking forward to it. Great guitar build off 2020. Here we come. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, the next few weeks at least are going to be very, very interesting. I've left this competition a little bit late. Um, yeah. Did you notice that I put the drawers back in in completely the wrong places, on completely the wrong levels, and they all fit perfectly? Says it all. Goodbye.